I don't know what it was. He's walking upright like a man. Sightings in and around Vermont. Bigfoot sightings across New England have been reported. Red glowing eyes, about seven feet tall. Red eyes, big old fangs, claws coming out through. Three inches long, you know, just as sharp as they can be. There has been another UFO sighting flying over the Royal Botanic Gardens. There are 500 UFO sightings in the world every month. The truth is out there. So welcome to some asynchronous listening. No. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> um, so we're recording oh. this. On the spookiest of spookies. <laughs> we are recording this on Halloween. There's the reference. It, the CEO for the company have... that I work for put out a podcast. And it started by explaining what podcasts are in a very nose in the air kind of way. Asynchronous listening. You could be walking your dog right now. Maybe oh. you could be staring at your computer screen and wondering... Why am I working for this asshole? <laughs> that is fair. Who, by the way, I've only <laughs> seen in person once over the last six years. That's better than I ever have for... I've only seen... Well, at, at IBM, I never saw the CEO in person. Yeah. Um, when I worked at First Playable, I saw the CEO every day, but that was a different story because it was an indie studio, so different, different thing. But uh, that's better That's better than yeah. my corporate gig. Wait, what, 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 what was... Oh, gee. Oh, what about first playable? I'm trying to remember. This is some other conversation that I had with somebody else, but somebody, um, uh, one of Erica's friends, we're, we're, we're talking, but then she thinks she knows you because she was like, wait, what? And then I said, your what's name? her name? Angela. Wait a second. See, that's the same face she made because we were just having regular conversation. I'm gonna. Uh, you're gonna have to send me a picture because there's a pretty good chance that name sounds incredibly familiar. Yeah, incredibly. Yeah. Well, Angela is a common name, but in the context of first playable, that, that it turns into a more specific thing. Specifically, sounds familiar. This is this is appealing to zero people. Th- there's but exactly me. one person. <laughs> well, uh, two technically. Two. Yeah. <laughs> Technically two people. That's This is the most specific. We used to be like very regionally specific up to like street names. But now we're getting, we're down to the person at this point. <laughs> yeah, we're down to my personal experience when I worked for a company for a summer. Yeah. <laughs> a whopping summer. Yeah. <laughs> God. Um, um. So I was talking to you a little bit about it before. I've been complaining a lot about online dating on... Uh, on the social Twitter, yeah. on social media, <laughs> it's awful. Yeah, and I think that's all I can say. It's just bad. Yeah, <laughs> I I got like hyper catfished recently because <laughs> I don't know what to describe it, it as. Was like other a meta fish. Yeah, it was like it was so weird because like the person had domain specific knowledge about literally everything that they said that they knew, and like was intelligent too like not stupid very clearly an intelligent human being but they ghosted me and then when i tried to look them up they existed nowhere they, they didn't exist and the things that they were knowledgeable about or claims that they, they had life experience of were things where you would have a paper trail so this is yes a, should like, have been a searchable person like pilot school and yeah. like knowing having a pilot's license and pictures of a plane that they owned that are not Tiniable or reverse image searchable like <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, like very weird like a weird level of like it was a weird level of reality mixed with grift Is, and uh, do you think it was I, uh, possibly uh, uh, an agent of the government who, who who because we know too much I doubt that I know way too little they're, for, they're, for, they're, maybe that's why they ghosted me because they realized I know nothing we're, we're between our, <laughs> our 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 two years of uh of boogeyman research they're like they're stumbling upon our secrets yeah we must our catfish secrets. them <laughs> the like, yeah the man the man who's uh noodling for catfish in the corner of the field yeah <laughs> you're doing it wrong if you're trying to noodle in a field 
Well, the corner of the field. There's a there's a stream okay. near the corner of the it's field. That land fish. You're trying it's to get that, that land, land catfish. You got to watch out. Yeah. It's basically tremors. Yes. Did you watch that? By the way, I know I texted I you about the, the new one. I haven't seen this, the newest tremors. I, I told I, you, but for people who are unaware, one tremors is amazing. The first one has Kevin Bacon's. Now they're on. I don't know. Probably they're on like the seven eighth, or eight. I think. Maybe I, I nine. I think a, eight might have been the one when they're like the in one Canada. In, yeah, and it, uh, and it had the, the, the butt blasters or whatever they're called. Yeah, yeah, the ass blasters. Um, so there's a new Tremors movie, which is amazing. They're all good. The first two were that, actually mm, the first I, two were actually good, and then they got campy. Okay. And then they became okay. self-aware, and they became this weird self-aware movie franchise where you'll probably only like it if you were already in from the first two. Um, the new one... The one of the the main leads is Napoleon Dynamite, and there's a scene. There's a several scenes where he's just handling crates that have the word dynamite on them. But there's a scene where Napoleon Dynamite is standing in front of a wall filled with boxes labeled dynamite, just saying the word dynamite too much, and it's the best. God, um, it's the seventh film, by the way. Is it the seventh? Oh, it's the seventh film. God, I. Yeah, Shrieker Island. Is there oh, just is... a list of all of them? Yeah, so it's Tremors, Tremors 2, um, Aftershocks, Tremors 3, Back to Perfection, Tremors oh, yep. 4, The Legend Begins, Tremors 5, Bloodlines. Bloodlines. That's the one? Okay, so so 1 and 2 are, are good. 3 and 4, they were a little bit self-aware. Bloodlines. Doesn't 3, doesn't Bloodlines 3 go is... to Africa or something? That's the one where, is it like, where it's like... Uh, is it Jamie Kennedy or is that the name of or something Kennedy? I get that actor and a porn uh, actress confused name wise. It's Jamie Kennedy. It's okay, Jamie yeah, Kennedy. Jamie Kennedy. So that's the one where it had nobody from the original movies, with the exception of one character in Bloodlines, as he find out he had a secret son, <laughs> and that's Jamie Kennedy. Um, and then yeah, Cold Day in Hell is the one where <laughs> that's it's, the one with the. The ass blasters. Yeah. Well, two is when ass blasters is introduced. It's two or yeah, three. Yeah, but there's a lot of them in, in Cold Day in Hell. Yeah. A lot. And Cold Day in Hell has nobody from the original movies, if I remember correctly. And then the one that just came out this year. I think Cold Day in Hell, they also go back to Africa at some point in the movie. But they um, go to Africa a lot in those movies for some they reason. They do. And then this one, they can only have one actor from the original movies, and that's Burt Gummer. And he's amazing. Uh, and they introduced Napoleon Dynamite. See, oh. I feel like if I feel like if someone starts watching in the middle, they just won't understand the intricate and elaborate lore of the Tremors they, universe. They won't. And also, I think Jamie Kennedy refused to be in the new Tremors movie. And here's why. <laughs> Jamie Kennedy refused? I I think he was not in it at any point. And he was in the <laughs> He was set up as the secret son of Burt Gummer, the crazy guy from the first four movies. He was in he introduced, then he was in the sequel to the to, to, to Bloodlines, and then this one, the third, which is effectively like the new, the third and the new Star Wars movies equivalent. He's not in it anywhere. Jamie Kennedy and how they address it is they go, but what doesn't he have a son? Why do we have to go get Burt Gummer, who clearly we thought was going to be no longer be in these because they said he almost quite literally like handed a torch to Jamie Kennedy, Jamie Kennedy, they address his character. Like he's in a Mexican jail for selling drugs. What? <laughs> yeah. They like the, he, cause he's like, why don't you just get my son? And they're like, well, he's just in jail. Like, what and then, is and Jamie Kennedy doing that? They he say can't it once. Be in they movie. say it once and then just move up. Cause clearly like as the movie viewer, you're like you set this up two movies ago. This is the third movie in the new trilogy why isn't jamie kennedy the main character because he's in a mexican actually hang on why wasn't this is important to me jamie uh, well yeah it's important kennedy to you i don't know new... oh he was in lucifer i guess mm. he was in a cold day in hell too what yeah he was in a yeah <gasps> what <laughs> what what was jamie kennedy doing for tremor seven yeah yeah that he wh- said no yeah, like, was he already in a better, like, uh, the Cold Day and Hell Coast Star reveal that he will not be in the upcoming... There's another sequel that he's not going to be in uh, called Island Fury. What? Oh, no, sorry, 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 sorry. The Island Fury was the working name for, for Shrieker Island. Um, so he opted out, um, even uh, though his uh, character was in the script, 
but he didn't share his reason for stepping away from the project. Um, so well, yeah, it's because it's because the tremor worms are just complete uh, screen hogs. Yeah, and uh, scream queens and all that nonsense. Oh God! I, I... <laughs> imagine turning down like that's such an easy paycheck. It is, right? And nobody expects you to be good. Here's the thing about the Tremors movies. They're not good. Unless no, you everyone already knows like they're them. not good. Yeah. Everyone knows. Even the people, like you said, even the people who like them think they're bad movies. Yeah. They're not made to be good movies. Just like the Sharknado movies are not made yeah. to be good movies. Yeah, the, like all of the, the like, uh, um, Pinhead was great in the, uh, like, but then after the second movie... And there's, like, also seven Hellraiser movies. They became the self-aware not good thing unless you already liked them. Yeah, I mean, same thing with uh, Halloween. Same thing with uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Basically, every slasher movie in the existence of slasher movies. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and as much as I love the Evil Dead, after the second Evil Dead movie, they stopped caring about any oh, kind yeah, like of Army sense of, darkness? of oh. seriousness. Yeah. Uh, although the reboot was really good it was really opinion. good so i thought that was a really good one jamie kennedy addressed that in a, the worst way via tweet and he said lots of people have been asking me so i might as well spill it i will not be in the upcoming tremor seven i had a great time making the last two heart emoji but no travis this time around which is the name but hey you never never he saw any eva apostrophe never know uh, what can happen in the future? Have a great time, boys. T dog out, and then an ATV emoji. <laughs> what? Yeah. Jamie Kennedy's insane, is what that's telling me. Yes. He is an. Uh, he's certifiable. <laughs> yeah. Um. Wow. Wow. That's all I can say. Now, if you're interested in seeing some good horror movies, even though the spoopy season's over. Uh, VHS one, VHS two, yes. Trick or treat. Um, what else? Hubie. Uh, Cabin in the woods. What? Hubie. No. I, have you actually watched that yet? I watched all of Hubie. Oh no! Here's you the probably thing. Loved it. You probably loved it. I liked it because it was safe. It was. That's. That's why. It was <laughs> why, safe. You... There, there was he also has a swiss army thermos which i also yes did i go on the rpf and find exactly what brand of thermos and how to modify it to be like the one from hubie yeah of course i did that um it's a repaint of it like an amazon choice thermos <laughs> but it was safe and then i also had a realization of, of uh about save me adam sandler movies that they also i was like all right nice save at the end of hubie which was a lot of Adam Sandler's movies are um, uh, poking fun at people uh, who who are mentally outside of the regular spectrum. Uh, they would you would call it neuroatypical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah neuroatypical people, or non neurotypical people rather. Yeah, they uh, are a lot of his. He, he plays them frequently, and that's the joke. Uh, in his movies is, hey, look at this guy. He's he's not neurotypical. Um, yeah. And I realized that in the middle of Hubie at some point, because yes, is he doing the same? Th yeah. Um, he's doing the voice. He's doing the he's Happy doing... Madison uh, fucking, yeah. uh, Happy Gilmore fucking, yeah. what's the name of the movie? Uh, Billy Madison. Madison. Yeah, Billy, Billy Madison. Madison. The so Billy Madison voice. At the very end, because I realized that halfway through, and I was like, wow, geez. Um, but then at the very end, um, it's, skip the next 30 seconds if you don't want Hubie spoiled for you. Who? All right. Wait a second. Wait. I want to take a minute. I want to take a minute. I want to take a minute. Okay. If you are concerned about Hubie being spoiled for you and you have not already <laughs> seen it. If you think Hubie has a plot, <laughs> and you, which it doesn't, and you don't want that spoiled... <laughs> Skip. We have to talk. We have yeah. to talk. <laughs> Message me directly. I'm concerned for your well-being, first of all. Yes. Um, so, Hubie Halloween. Um, everybody in town makes fun of Adam Sandler because he's neuroatypical. 
and Adam mm-hmm. Sandler is doing the voice and everything. And then at yep. the end of the movie, why is everyone disappearing from town? His mother um, is tr- killing the people who are making fun of her son. F- and he stops her. Um, and he's like, Mommy, can you do that? She's like, yeah. She's like, Hubie, like, it, she's killing everybody that's making fun of him because of how he is. And then he stops her because he's got a good heart and gives on this long speech. And I was like, all right, I guess he kind of saved it at the end. Because he kind of recognized the thing that I realized was a problem halfway through the movie. And he made an attempt to save it. Does that really, does that help him though? Because he basically, so basically he made a... Mm. He admitted he realized what he was doing, kind of, sort of, actually. That doesn't save it now. Uh, I changed no, my it mind. doesn't. It doesn't. No. Actually, if anything, it makes it worse because yeah. he knew. He yeah. knew. He knew. He did it on purpose. Yeah. Um, it's basically uh, a more offensive version of Friday the 13th is what you're telling me. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and Friday the 13th has some pretty gruesome kills, but it's it's basically a more offensive Friday the 13th, which is Yeah. Weird. Um, the other thing is, and I don't know how to feel about this, is every time I see uh, Don Cheadle in a movie, my first thought is not, oh, it's Don Cheadle. It's, that guy looks a lot like Don Cheadle. And I don't know what that means about me. Maybe because you don't think Don Cheadle would be in Hubie? Maybe. Maybe actually, that's fucking... <laughs> That's it, actually. I'm sorry. That is it. Because he was, like, he was in the like he was on screen for two seconds. I was like, that guy looks a lot like Don Cheadle. And then he started talking. I was like, that's Don Cheadle. Oh, uh, <laughs> like the guy from all of the really big movies, but then also Adam Sandler movies. Man, he's had a what hell of a, a career. What, what a career arc from Hotel Rwanda to QB Halloween. Yeah. Like, like, what are you going to do hot off the back of the newest Captain America? I've got this new Adam Sandler flick I'm going to do. Oh, God, he's in the new Space Jam movie, too. Uh, Which I'm going to watch, but not expect anything good out of. Oh, it's going to be terrible. Yeah. Is he actually in Hubie Halloween? I'm not seeing it on his... He's actually in Hubie Halloween? What? Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. Why do people keep giving Adam Sandler money to make movies? Because he prints money. Yeah, I guess. Also, I was talking to a friend, a mutual friend recently. Yeah. About horror movies. Um, and so we were talking about this. Is pro- <laughs> this should probably be the last thing we talk about in this pre-show <laughs> ramble. <laughs> Okay. We're at 20 minutes, Brandon. What is what is so funny? I'll text you. Okay. I think I think we need to You know what? We're at 20 minutes. We've been talking about Hoobie Halloween for about 10 minutes. <laughs> I think we need to move on. And... Oh, <laughs> So are we gonna edit that at all? Cause no, I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna wait, wait. I'm gonna t- tell you, the listening audience, what just happened. <laughs> I'm so happy. Uh, it wasn't Don Cheadle in the film. It was Tim Meadows. <laughs> Oh, I'm a bad person. Oh, oh, I needed that. <laughs> All right. There's literally nothing else I can say to finish, close this out. Because no. that's probably the, the most awful, hilarious thing possible. Yeah. I was super confused because I'm like, Don Cheadle in an yeah, Adam Sandler movie? Too. What a get. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Uh, welcome to Cryptopedia, an exploration of the myths and legends that haunt the human mind. Each week, we'll take you on a journey exploring the mysteries of the world, tackling tales of monsters, folklore, the paranormal, Mecca, uh, Mecca Garfield, and that thing that definitely lives under your bed. I'm Brandon. I'm John. Good lord. Uh, and if you want to know more about Mecca Garfield, get into our Discord. Yeah, I'm... 
I'm horrified and a little bit sad because I think that's actually I'm not sure if that's an actual um an actual optimal optimist because not is yeah optimal optimist because if that's an actual opti- optimal optimist there's a part of me my transformer soul that yeah. has drained a little bit in seeing that have happened <laughs> oh, yeah but I respect I respect the um artistry yeah so uh, <clears throat> so I'll I'll jump into it oh that was a good laugh um, oh I I can't believe you yeah I mean believe it. <laughs> I, um, I'm bad. You see, the thing is, I'm so bad at at actor names. I almost never attempt to say someone's name unless I like know them for sure, right? Yeah. I well, I already told you before like, we're talking about Tremors. I get the Kennedys, the actor, and the porn actor mixed up <laughs> frequently. Um. Uh, because. Uh, if, uh, so today, today's uh, creature was first seen in 1966. It lives in England. It's no longer seen, and it it, it looks like an origami snake. I honestly have no idea what this could be. Yeah, it, in uh, honor of spoopy season, I, I I mixed it up, and I'm doing a poltergeist. Pol- poltergeist. Enfield? Is it the Enfield poltergeist? No, no, no. It's uh, right. it it's called. I- the Black Monk, and it's like a, a famous. Oh, one. is it the Black Monk of Pont- Pontefract? Uh, yes. Okay, that one I I am uh, familiar with. Ah, um, okay. I almost did an episode on it last week, what? but uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm not joking. Damn, um, okay. I I I was thinking of doing several Poltergeist episodes last week, but I oh, ended shoot. up doing uh Clinton Road because that was something I've been wanting to do for a very long time. Nice. Well, this one, um, I got a book. So this, <laughs> I've read a book. <laughs> that's Good. that I've got one source. It is book. I, I feel like I feel like that's a uh, common trend for our Halloween episodes because the first Halloween I read the Black Dog of Bungay. Yep. Um, the second Halloween I don't remember what we did, but I read I I did read the Mothman prophecies for the two year anniversary, the one year anniversary, and now you've read the a book about the Black Monk of Pontefract. Yeah. So it, it's called. How about that? Uh, Colin Wilson, uh, Poltergeist, a classic study in destructive hauntings on Kindle because it's popular on Amazon. And this is the longest part of the book. (laughs) Um, The title? Yeah. (laughs) 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 Well, he he has like general Poltergeist stuff. I was like, skip, skip, skip. I don't want to get to the popular one that I've heard about before. Um, Fair enough. uh, So the Black Monk is said to be a Cluniac Monk. Uh, which is some like middle age stuff. You can look up Cluniac monks on their own. They're not that interesting uh, outside. I mean, of... they're monks. They're monks, and you won't know about them unless one was a ghost. So there, pretty much. Um, that haunted a family that lived in England in the sixties, who was hanged for rape in the time of Henry the Eighth. He haunted the Pritchard family and the housekeeper who still lives in the adjoining house. Um, the family. This lived... was the. Oh, now, you know what. I'm getting ahead of the story. Just go. You might know cause... more because all I know is from if this if there's like movies and stuff. I don't know. Um... No, I I know I know a fair amount. I I've, I've I've listened to I've read a lot about this. Not read. I've listened to a lot of stories about this. So there's actually a pretty decent chance that I know which one this is. But okay. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get jump ahead of the story. Okay. So the family lived on 30 East Drive, which um is still there. Like it's still just a house you can go to. Uh, and consisted of Jean and Joe Pritchard, as well as their progeny, Philip and Diane, uh, who are aged 15 and 12, uh, respons- uh, resp- 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 in that order. Um, <clears throat> d- during a bank holiday, the couple went on vacation, leaving their children at home with Grandma to watch them. Mr. and Mrs. I'm sorry, Mrs. Sarah Scholes. So <clears throat> bank holiday is still one of those things that I just can't wrap my head around because I think it's a it's a. It's a it's UK an English thing, thing, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah they're, they're English. It's an Englishy thing, and this is also oh, like an Englishy basic... house. So if you ever watch Doctor Who, where like, mm-hmm. um, there's houses, but they're all can like they all share a wall, where it's like one row long... houses. Yeah, like a house that's the length of the entire road, and just people living. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Council so, house or whatever. I yeah, uh, I, I'm I'm pulling on all of my mighty boosh and Doctor Who knowledge. Yeah. 
Because uh, that's everything I know about England. <laughs> that, that is, yeah, that is the lens through which I see overseas. Oh, wait, Kingsman too. The Kingsman movies as well. Ah, uh, yes, I liked Kingsman. Um, I did too. The main book The source... ending, the ending was pretty good. With the rainbow head explosions? Uh, I was thinking of the, the, the joke about, uh, anal sex. Oh, yeah. Um, because that was a very James Bond ending. It was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the main book source, Poltergeist, a classic study in destructive hunting, said that the family had reached an age where holidays with the family lose their attraction. Uh, which I interpret as a very English way of saying, leave the kids at home, we're gonna fuck in a hotel. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> That's actually what it is. Yeah. Cuz cuz here's the thing, 15 and 12 is still pre is still peak going on vacation with your parents age. Yeah. 15 is the age where you're kind of over it and you don't want to. But 12 is still there, so yeah. at least Diane would want that. Yeah. My guess is. Uh the Thursday of the uh <laughs> I forgot how I wrote some of this. The th- the Thursday of the parental coil fest was when the, everything started. <laughs> Thank you for capitalizing that T. I, it's very important that Thursday's capitalized. It's yeah. a it's a proper noun and a band. I think Thor's day. Yes, uh, and Woden's day. We both read that book slash watched that series. Um, I really love that book. Actually, see, I just watched the show. It was weird, but also good. Uh, the book was the, oh my okay so if you don't know what we're talking about it's American Gods yes um, American Gods read it <laughs> watch the show I don't care if you're not if you're not familiar with it you have to be familiar with it because it's it's a stunning piece of American literature or not even American it's Neil Gaiman so it's technically British. But it's about America, like, in the most real way possible. Yes. Re- it, read it. It's really good. It's a really good character study. Uh, I'd almost call it a character study of America as a, like, cultural entity. Yeah. More than it is about any one thing or any particular thing. Because it, it gets into the roots of, like, like the weird patchwork that America is. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's a lot of, cause, cause it's, I don't want to spoil too much, but there's a lot of really cool stuff around the notion of gods and what we worship. Um, and how, even though we might not be implicit, we might, might not be explicitly worshiping something. We are implicitly worshiping it to the point that we're deifying and personifying things, which is mm-hmm. real cool. <clears throat> real cool. Yes. It is our stamp of approval. Um, yes. There's, uh, grandma was knitting. I just love that it says coitus fest, and right under that it says grandma was knitting. Um, grandma was knitting. That's usually how most coitus fest start. Yes. Was knitting when the room got cold, uh, and a sudden gust of wind caused the windows to rattle. Uh, this was the start of a three year event. Spooky. Uh, mm hmm. Uh, I would also like to point out that coldness and the window rattling is what comes along with the gust of wind, but whatever. Um, <laughs> There, no, there, no, 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 ghosts. There's, yeah, there, there's Ghost a few things jobs. where I'm like, where it's, you're kind of like, yeah, but that's what happens. <laughs> um, Philip, at this point, went to the kitchen to make uh, coffee and tea for himself and Granny, uh, and Granny, Granny respectively. When Philip looked out of the kitchen uh, and saw Grandma uh, was knitting in a room filled with gray-white powder floating down from the ceiling... Was... I told you, Grandma, stop doing coke. <laughs> She's like, ah, oh, scarf. <laughs> like, <laughs> just she had frantically she was, she was, crocheted. That was needle. some. That was some performance enhancement. Oh yeah, uh, it was described as chalk dust, um, and supposedly Mrs. Scholes didn't notice until she looked up at Philip and said, "What have you been up to?" Also, not a good sign. He just went to the kitchen to start some tea, said, what's up? And she goes, what have you been up to? So she forgot the last 30 seconds already. Oh, um, yeah. Supposedly, their first thought was that the ceiling uh, <clears throat> had just been refinished. Uh, but that wasn't a solid explanation. Um, since the snowing white dust wasn't falling from the ceiling, uh, it, 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 the, the top of the room was dust-free. It started 
just a little below his chin. So it's like snowing, but not from the top, but kind of from like five feet above the ground, I guess. Um, and okay. when Granny stood up, her nose rose above this precipitation line. So she was, and then she just breathed deep. Oh, yeah. She's, <laughs> oh, she's got the clown wig on. She's, what's that, the clown from Metalock? Whatever. The cocaine uh, clown. Roxo. Yeah, Roxo. Uh, she, this, she is Roxo. Uh, she went across the street to talk to her daughter uh, about the event who described her as looking like a snowman. Um, <laughs> and she, Granny got just antiqued by Philip. Like, she didn't realize that she was in a jackass movie. Um, God. And apparently it was still falling when she brought her daughter across the road to show her. The two started cleaning it up. Uh, upon her validation, uh, Granny said, like, I'm not senile yet, which you are because you just forgot your kid went to the kitchen to make some tea. If you're so if you're saying I'm not senile yet, I always get a little worried for you. Yeah. <laughs> At least a little bit. That's like, the problem is, whenever you say you're not a thing, that means you probably are the thing. See, I told you I'm not. Yeah, and then you're just like, oh, you just kind of put the, you, you kind of put, you polish that oh, you, a little bit. It's like the uh, she looks tired line from Doctor Who. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once you put that evil into the world. Yeah. Um, now, as they were mopping everything up, another phenomena happened. They would mop a portion of the floor clean, drain the mops, and as they did, a puddle would come right back up as if there was a leak under the floor coming up through the linoleum, which I read that and I just had flashbacks, <laughs> had flashbacks. to the kitchen. <laughs> <clears throat> that was not good. Um, the, the, it was just like, it's just the sound of uh, machine gun fire. Yeah, I've got, got whatever kitchen PTSD is. Uh, ongoing problem, by the way. I mean, way. it would still be yeah. PTSD. Yeah. It, it would still be PTSD. Yeah, There's, two days ago, the sink broke. Uh, <laughs> donate, good. To, donate to our Patreon so I can fix my sink. Uh, <laughs> that's a joke. It goes to the website and, and like, it stuff. Li- it literally just goes to the website. Yeah, yeah it goes from paying the website. <laughs> for the Yeah. Um, the pair supposedly peeled back a portion of the floor to reveal a dry subfloor, which also... <sighs> That's not just going to go. <laughs> must back be easy. nice. Must be nice. Yeah, must be nice. Dry subfloor. Um, <clears throat> this was also not the only water-based prank by the poltergeist. Uh, when taps uh, were turned on or toilets flushed, supposedly green foam would come out in lieu of water. That just sounds like a. That just sounds like somebody got a little bit too much phloem. A little too much phloem. Um. Sometime after this, they rang the water board, which I assume is like me calling the town and saying that there's a leak and they promised to send someone over after lunch. Um, however, by the time yeah, they much. arrived, uh, the house was, quote, returned to normal. Good. Seems good. Yeah, seems good. Um, here's one of the many red flags. Uh, I left some stuff out, but if you have a snowstorm and a flood all morning, how the hell is the house back to normal after lunch? <laughs> like the the, the, the uh, I magic. just don't get it. It's magic. Yeah. Ghost magic. Just it's ghost, ghost magic. magic. Um, it's ghost magic. Whatever the case, uh at seven PM on the same day, Philip said I imagine like, him as like a smaller kid than he really is, and he says like, Grandma, it's happening again and then just Well he's fifteen weird... and he sounds like that. Yeah, oh, that's kinda it's, worse almost. It's absolutely worse. He hit puberty but his voice went up. Yes. Just, just like some just, uh, just stop. Um, when, uh, he tiny timed. Yeah. What they then saw was, oh, he got, ca- you know, there's a rumor that Michael Jackson was chemically castrated, by the way. It's not true, but I heard it and I was like, huh. Um, I mean, that wouldn't affect his voice though. It, that's what, well, if right? you do it as a kid. Like, like, means, well, but then he would then he would have had some serious issues with like develop. He would have serious about. Listen, <laughs> listen. <laughs> listen. Okay. <laughs> he clearly had some serious issues. Okay. Well, <laughs> I can't. I can't. I. I caught myself while I was saying yeah. that. <laughs> I saw you. I saw you connect the dots. Like he. 
His music was good. It was. <laughs> he made a literal industry around himself, but yeah. uh, dude had some demons. Yeah. Um, and I don't think anyone can argue that. Yeah. Uh, what we then saw was the counter was covered in dry tea and sugar, which, I mean, I guess Grandma's just on a binge. Um, <laughs> and addition- I need to mainline the sugar. Yeah. In addition to that, uh, liquid, liquid tea was pouring out of the... They, they said tea dispenser. I don't know what that is. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, I said whatever the English hell Where that is onto place? the floor. 1966. Yeah. Apparently they had they had some uh, arcane technology in England for tea, yeah. but I assume that I always assume that was the case. Um, yeah, Grandma then shouted, "Stop it!" And Philip, thinking he was being accused, I do too, uh, said, "I can't. It's doing it on its own," which also is exactly what happens when you yell at a kid who's masturbating. <laughs> 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 it's just a story of she, she like of, of, of Philip. Just... She's like, stop wanking, and he's like, I can't. My hand's doing it on its own. It won't stop. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Help! <laughs> um, oh no! It feels awful. Yeah. <laughs> There's just blood coming out. Then... <laughs> oh god, no! <laughs> then. Then there's a loud crash in the hallway. Uh, they opened the door and turned on the light. What they saw then in front of them was a plant. Not any plant, but a suspicious plant. The plant was usually a plant at the foot of the stairs, but it was halfway up the stairs. Oh. To this point, <laughs> spilling like... Moving a potted plant and spilling tea is also like, you know, a shitty 15-year-old kid wants to be mean to granny. You know, it's not outside of that yet in my head. No, it's it's not outside of that in my yeah, head yet. Like, let's fuck with grandma. She's old and doesn't get she out of She won't understand. Let's, let's do something to get her ticker going. Um, <laughs> it's for her, really. <laughs> yeah. Then the Not cupboard me. began uh, shaking as if someone was locked inside and trying to get out. Philip opened it, and the moment the doors opened, the shaking stopped. This sounds a lot like a haunted house. It does. Like, like, like a like. And when I say haunted house, I don't mean like the literal haunted house, but like a uh, like when you pay money scare to go that's to. yeah, when you go to that somebody made their house into a haunted house. It feels yeah. like. Um, at the same time, another loud banging noise started somewhere in the house. It was not uh, a particularly alarming noise. In fact, Mrs. Scholes had heard it a few hours earlier and assumed that May Mountain's husband was doing some car- which I assume is their neighbor that shares an adjoining wall, doing some carpentry th- on that we, you are just f- feverishly correcting all my spelling mistakes. Um, she just assumed the neighbors were, were doing some carpentry on the dividing wall. Um, then she now observed a sudden chill in the atmosphere, um, which she connected with the other strange events of the night. She said, I'm going to get Marie. And Philip said, oh, I'll come with you. Uh, because he, I just didn't want to be left there alone, I guess. So what has happened? Okay. So There's, I want to there, point there out. A puddle, some spilled wait, wait, tea and a suspicious but, plant. But here's a problem I have with this story right now. Where's Diane? <laughs> Oh, yeah, where's the daughter? Just... Where did she go? She's completely disappeared from the story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like she was there, too. What? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's. A, I didn't actually ask that question myself when I was reading this, and now I guess that you say that I should have, because, yeah, where, what is she doing? Because usually they blame the, they blame the, whenever the there's daughter. public activity, they blame the daughter having True. her first period or whatever. It's usually the... That's usually what it is, even yeah. though it's, like, super sexist. <laughs> it is. Everyone knows that when a girl hits puberty, her, vagina, her vagina gets haunted. That's just what happens. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> it kind of... So, I heard people describe it, and it does sound kind of haunted. Yeah. <laughs> um, just, it sounds kind of awful. 
So it is slightly haunted, at yeah. least. <laughs> Uh, Maybe but, not by ghosts, but just by pure, sheer awfulness. Just hormones. Just haunted by hormones. I mean, that was that's basically my teenage years. Yeah. You've just described is haunted by hormones. Yeah. Uh, they then went next door to May Mountain and asked uh, if she was the source of the banging noises, which also was the neighbor. I'd be like, hey, hey, hey wink, 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 nod, nod. Um, she replied with, we thought it was you. So both neighbors thought the other neighbor was doing carpentry. Um, or something. Yeah, or something. They then sat and had tea. The most English. There's a lot of very English things that happen, and um, like, does the queen make an appearance at any point? Not to my knowledge. Okay. Um, until it's they, not so, the but, most English. Yeah. It could be. They had tea until nine thirty. So from seven to nine thirty, they had tea, and upon separating, they were told if anything was to happen, they should again they should come back over. So the neighbors seven nice to nine thirty. Yeah. Two and a half hour tea time? Grandma doesn't get out much. Jeez Louise. It being 9.30 was Philip's bedtime, so he went upstairs to his bedroom, and Mrs. Scholes decided to go give her uh, gra- her grandkid a kiss goodnight. She went into his room, and supposedly, when she leaned down, she noticed he was staring over her shoulder wide-eyed. Um, when she turned, his dresser was slowly shaking back and forth like a drunken man. Um, it was at this point they decided, uh, fuck that and spent the night in Mrs. Kelly's spare bedroom. And meanwhile, Diane is nowhere to be seen. Yeah. She's just not in the picture. (laughs) She's out discovering, uh, uh, she just learned about masturbation. She's just somewhere. She's 12. I don't really want to think about that. (laughs) See, don't... (laughs) Good but then again, we're making jokes about a 15-year-old masturbating too. So I guess it's I guess pu- let's like be it's around let's when be puberty equal happens. Opportunity. Everyone, let's... we're equal opportunity. Everybody knows pu- puberty just means just you're feverish, probably masturbating. Feverishly masturbate at any. Oh my god! Do you remember the time in high school when somebody uh, uh, made a joke about somebody else's dildo during one of like like lunch or something like very loudly? No. Oh, man. I can't remember the exact line, but I remember when I heard it, I was just like, the fuck are you guys talking about in the middle of the cafeteria? There's, I mean, there's, we had a kid that just got caught uh, uh, having, you know, uh, playing with himself. Multiple times. Multiple times. Just multiple, multiple times. times. He did not learn. Just wait till you get home. He didn't learn even a little bit. Like, no. I mean... I think he got caught four times, something like that. Yeah. It was and like the same place, bonkers. just like in the bathroom. It was at the. It, it was in class at least once. Oh yeah, yeah, yes, it was at least once. At least one time there was just. <sighs> High school's terrible. Yeah, and then there's the person who pickled. Who pickled? Oh, who pickled? I recall that now. <laughs> It might have started as a cucumber. I'm not sure, though. <laughs> it's like, it's where I keep my spices. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Uh, uh, I, I want to point out we're just making fun of how awful high school is as everyone tries to figure themselves out. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> these people maybe are not completely degenerate now it's uh probably are i guess mean, like education well, is a very important thing however i will say that um i don't know what i expected uh in retrospect when you um require hundreds of people going through like just major life changes and you put them in a very small area for hours at yeah, a time yeah it's it's not great. No, like it's 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 it, education is necessary. It's just oh shit, the things that happen when you lock kids together, huh? Oh yeah, no, it's bad. It's real bad. Yeah, it's real bad. <laughs> like even the fucking even the 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 like church lock-ins that I went to were like, yeah, we gotta separate these kids. Yeah. <laughs> 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 There was, oh yeah, there's some hooking up that happens at the old uh, church sleepovers. 
Oh, I, I, Antioch, from my recollection, Ooh. was uh, was a happening place. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, the killers were not in the mood to sleep, however. <laughs> they stayed on topic. Um, they had not gone over originally because they thought there was a natural exp- explanation for everything. Um, so they, they did call the police and minutes later, also minutes later, they are fast over in England. Um, well, they might pay more in taxes and actually, uh, in New Jersey, you can expect police in minutes. What? Yeah. In New York, if you get someone here and if I get someone, I live in a very nice neighborhood. Yeah. And if I call the cops, you, uh, well, first of all. I have opinions, but we're not going to go into that yeah. right now. Um, if I call the cops, it would take around thirty minutes. Yeah, I was going to say if you get it, if you get any if it's fire, EMS, or police under twenty minutes, that that's pretty good time. Because I've called the police before. Because we I live in a good neighborhood, but what happens is that when the kids get off school, because it is like it, well, this year it's different because of whatever you know, the apocalypse. But um, it'd be every yeah, year on on like school breaks. Just kids go and check if all the car doors are open. If your car door's not locked, they just take shit out of your car. So I've had yeah. like called the police to report um uh my cuz I'm an I save all my boxes of everything. So when they stole like GPSs and shit out of my car, I stole the box with a serial number so that this way if they co- they find it, they can at least return it to me uh mm. at a later date. Um but yeah, so I've had to call the cops a few times and the I the, well, also, when I got my car got hit too. Yeah, even they also the cops live across the street from me, and it took them twenty minutes. They didn't send like they didn't say send that guy, but still, like they're close. What are you doing? I see you everywhere. You, you think I mean they hang out at the gas station by my house? All like, I mean the cops are there to protect the class system, but that's a whole other thing. That's that's not this podcast. Go listen to the dollop. I guess. Yeah, that, that's, I don't know. That's uh, there's. I have opinions, several, but we're I, not. I have we're not going to talk about it. On and there's this been a couple times where someone said something, and, and like my head went like, brrr, I was like, pause. I was like, I know you like sports, so here, and I know that there's a sports guy that this <laughs> they talked about, and also you'll hear them spout my own opinions at the end. So like, here's the thing that I know you'll like, and then you can <laughs> listen. I have a hundred percent done that before, where like someone said something, and I've been like. Oh, I remember they had some batshit crazy thing about this sports team that you like. So <laughs> you'll get a solid chuckle and then also know my opinion at the end. <laughs> um, uh, uh, so whatever. They called the police uh, minutes later and ins- uh, Inspector Taylor and two officers arrived presumably to Scooby-Doo the fuck out of the place. Well, all right. Uh, they're not going to be Scooby-Dooing it because they're too old, first of all. Yeah. If you're not a meddling kid, you f- you you find nothing. True. Well, or you're on the take. Funny you should and say that's... that because the five went into the house, did an inspection, and they found nothing. Yeah, they're on the take with it from the ghost. Yeah. <laughs> dirty cops, <laughs> dirty ghost cops. Yeah. <laughs> that that bitch daughter's paying them off. Because <laughs> she's apparently a ghost in this story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Vic Kelly and Marie stayed up discussing what happened, and at some point Vic said, uh, what about your friend Mr. O'Donnell? He's interested in ghosts, isn't he? So, it being nearly midnight at this point, the book said it was 11.30 at night. Okay, I want to point out, though, ghost people don't sleep. That's probably very true. Uh, at this point, these fucking jerks walk down the street to Mr. O'Donnell's house and knock on his door, who, rather than telling them to go away because it's midnight, puts on his coat and heads with them to the house. Ghost people don't sleep. Ghost people are ready at any moment I to investigate him, a ghost. Like, just in a, a house wholly devoid of furniture with the exception of one chair facing the door. And whenever Waiting. he hears a knock, he goes, it's time. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, if somebody walked up to my door, knocked and said, we got a ghost. Yeah. I'd probably be like, okay. Yeah. And leave. Because 
Because <laughs> no matter what happens, I have a story. That, yeah. Because um, cause if, if somebody came up to me, if somebody came up to my door right now, knock, knock, knock. Hey, John, we've got a ghost. I'd be like, fuck, yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my mask and a flashlight. I'm right behind you, dude. <laughs> Um, when they opened the house, uh, they described the air as being cold. Um, and I presume it's because, uh, and again, at this point, I forgot there might've been a daughter still in the house. I have n- I honestly don't know. She, for all I know, she's the fucking ghost. I'm, I'm going to operate under the assumption she's tagging along because I don't picture granny leaving a 12 year old alone in a house. Um, I don't know. This is the 60s, man. That's true. She might have just got her a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, 12, hey, go get me a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. I need a carton. No, the carton's for the daughter. She's like, <laughs> she's like, you're a 12-year-old woman now. You got to start sometime. Um, <laughs> they described the air as being cold, and I presume it's because why leave the heat on if you knew you were going to fuck off and have tea for two hours and then go across the street and not like... I turn the heat I, off if I'm going to leave the house. Oh, like, I leave the heat on. Do you? I don't like reheating the heat house. Oh, you're a I monster. I like to come home. To, I also don't leave the house anymore, so, you know, that's a whole other thing. Fair. There is, I, I just, I, I the heat's on now. Like, you saw, like, I just took my hat off because I was drinking hot tea. But I just have, I wear a hat in, 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 in a jacket in the house. Uh, I am I usually wear a sweatshirt. <laughs> because but oil will be expensive. When I talk, I get a little bit animated, and if I'm wearing the headphones, my heat distribution gets bad, because I apparently am, like, an overheating old jalopy when it comes to stuff. Yeah. And uh, if I if I didn't take the sweatshirt off, it's literally on the floor right next to me. If I didn't take my sweatshirt off, I would literally be just a bag of sweat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want that right now. I don't no. feel like taking another shower this morning. <laughs> Uh, so they, they, they sat in the lounge, and Mr. O'Donnell explained to them the distinction between ghosts and poltergeists, and that uh, the poltergeist was supposed to be a manifestation of someone's unconscious mind, in this case, probably Phillips. Um, and Why? I don't know. And also, this is, here's the thing, most poltergeist stories that you hear about, um, daughter gets Usually blamed for daughter. getting her period. So that kind of yeah. stood out for me, because- yeah. It's he's blaming the guy. I mean, it's progressive. It is. I it guess. is progressive of him. It's a progressive blame for the haunt. <laughs> also, I don't agree with his logic, but I agree with his conclusion in that it's probably a shitty teenager. I mean, like it, it's like getting a the showing your work on a math problem. You do all the work wrong, but end up with the right answer. So you get like it, it's kind of like. Well, I don't know all this stuff. I'm not sure about, but you know what? There's one thing I know: teenagers are shitty. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this teenager is an asshole. Yeah. Uh, in, in that case, Vic uh, Kelly said, "We're wasting our time sitting here. He's in our house." So at this point, the adults left the children alone in not their own house. <laughs> the kids are alone in the neighbor's house. <laughs> It's my time. <laughs> um, at 1.45 a.m., they decide to leave the house. Why? Uh, but just as they get to the door, there is a crash. They flip on the lights, and there were two oil paintings laying face down, glass cracked, and the wedding photo of the Pritchard slashed with a knife. So this is the first, like, other than, like, that weird chalk thing that probably didn't happen uh where there's like a group of adults together and a thing happens okay that isn't like there's tea that's spilled um when joe pritchard had come back uh his mother-in-law had left uh later in bed Jean pritchard was too warm even with the windows open also if your windows are open that could probably count for the low temperature and the gusts of wind you're feeling um yeah a little bit yep uh, so she went to the landing uh, it, <clears throat> it was, uh, the, the book calls it half light, which I, I, I think means that the sun is starting to become daylight maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, and the landing was gently lit by street lamps. 
Um, it was by the light of the lamp that she saw something moving out the corner of her eye. A shrub rustled. Uh, at this point, I'm thinking if it was me, uh, neighborhood cat, because we have, I have a lot of neighborhood cats. Yeah, um, me too. And uh, a shrub rustled. She flipped the landing light on, and as soon as she did, something flew past her head. Um, it was identified as a paintbrush, uh, and then later the paste bucket, which because they're they're putting up wallpaper, so they had buckets of mm-hmm. of paint and, and stuff. So something's throwing um, wallpaper supplies at her. Uh, it hit the wall and spilled onto the carpet. Also, that hit me in the feels. Um, because <laughs> I just don't, I'm very sensitive to any form of housework at this point in time. Um, <laughs> I like that that's your trigger point this, in the story. It is. There's so much other stuff to, to be upset about, but the, the paste on the carpet is the thing that triggered you. Yeah. I was just like, Oh no. Um, and I, I also don't say that facetiously. I use trigger in the literal definition of it triggers emotional response. It does. It triggers an emotional response. I have flashbacks of going to Lowe's. <laughs> I mean, I've got a, a, a sink in a box on my table right now. <laughs> um, <sighs> she could now see what was near the shrub throwing stuff. It was a section of wallpaper standing on the end and swaying like a cobra. That's why I said it looks like an origami snake. What? She has like a uh, uh, a fantasy uh, or fantasia, like you know, how, like enchanted wallpaper thing, just throwing shit at her. She decided wallpaper can't hurt her, so she tried to grab it, and as soon as she did, it turned into just a normal sheet of wallpaper. She's wrong if she thinks wallpaper can't hurt her, but a paper especially cut? in the sixties. Oh, especially oh, yeah. in the sixties. <laughs> Oh, well, because you... I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if there was somehow lead involved in that <laughs> yes. fucking wallpaper. Because Which... they use lead in everything. They, and I also love your theory that a lot of the problems we have are caused by people who were alive when lead was in everything. I legitimately think <laughs> that that's it. Because my honest opinion is we... Per- like, lead just produced a generation of sociopaths, is my opinion. Yeah. Um. Because that's how I explain everything that's happening to me in my life right now. It's just a bunch of sociopaths running around unfettered. Yes. <laughs> Who Whose peer group be, isn't stopping them because they're all so affected by the lead. Yeah. Everyone's a sociopath. Yeah. Everyone. And it's just like the... Those of us who were saved from uh, lead poisoning as children are just like... <laughs> John is is miming a look of bewilderment for the listener. Because I am bewildered. I am yeah. bewildered. Because natural human empathy is not a thing, apparently, to uh, other generations. But, you know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as the paper hit the ground, the carpet sweeper started swinging around like a, a an invisible giant wheeling a bat. At this point, I googled what a carpet sweeper was, and I pulled a little, little picture in there. I had one of those in my bedroom when I lived with my parents. I had um, one, too. Although I didn't have it in my bedroom, yeah. our family has one. It's like um, it's like a uh, like a broom it, that's got a roller thing on the end, and you just push it. And back it makes and it, forth. Like, it, like it makes it like it makes it like wee 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 noise. Yeah, when you push it. It, it's, and it clacks and all stuff. Yeah, um, she dropped on all fours and scrambled back to the bedroom. <laughs> uh, wallpaper coming after her. <laughs> she slammed. I, I, the, yeah. When did L, when did LSD get invented again? I don't know when did LSD <laughs> get wait. <laughs> When did LSD get invented? Uh, popularized in the 1960s. So this is like peak. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess 1943. Oh, 1938. Yeah. 1938. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh, yeah, because the, the story is the dude who discovered LSD just tried it. And he there's like an entry where it's like, the world is melting or something like that. And then that's the last thing. And he like rode his bike 20 miles to home or something yeah. like that. It was like oh. bizarre. Um, Man, imagine being the first person to ever trip and just be oh. like, Oh, yeah. What is going on? <laughs> Talk um, about a bad trip. She slams the door behind her and screams, which awoke her husband. Um, Philip and Diane, hey, look, she's back. Hey, she's back! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> came to see what all the noise was about. Um, and as soon as they enter the room, the wallpaper materials to begin to fly around the room, hitting people. Um, 
So right now, like, we... It's just a ghost that hates housework. I mean, could be me. Yeah. The the wooden pelmet, which is like a fancy antique frame around a window. I had to look up what that was. Was torn from the wall, uh, even though it was held in by two-inch uh, screws and flung out the window. Um, Diane reached for the door handle and Joe Pritchard shouted, Don't touch it! Um, and then... Uh, the a loud thump came from the other side of the door, so pr- presumably he, he was correct. And if you open the door, something large would have flown through it. Um, this would go on for so long. Sorry, so so that's the end of that experience. So just okay. this haunting and these type of things would happen for such an extended period of time. The family named him Mister Nobody, and Joe Pritchard would eventually call him Fred. Fred. Um, there was a I mean, ni- Fred is a nobody. Yeah. There was a nightly routine of banging and knocking. Um, the family sort of got used to it. Mrs. Pritchard even would just tape light switches in the up position to prevent them from being flicked off. Well, that's a little wasteful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Philip eventually suggested that the ghosts could be exercised. Where were you three fucking years ago, Philip? Because we jumped way into the future at this point in time. <laughs> Is this literally three years in the future? I, I I don't know exactly how far into the future this is, but the events happened over a three-year period of time. He's 18 at the end of this. Yes. Um, so the family did eventually hire a local vicar by the name of Reverend Dave, Davy. Uh, and Davy explained that first he would need permission from a bishop, and the bishop ev- uh, uh uh, eventually agreed and Davy showed up at seven o'clock the following m- Thursday. There's a whole routine the church has to go through like to approve well, of an exorcism. Well, is this a, is this an Anglican exorcism or a Catholic exorcism? They're English. So I'm going to say l- more likely Anglican. Cause there is a difference in like, yeah. like the hierarchies mm-hmm. and this is, this is way, way past the, Anglo- 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 Anglicization of the church. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So here's another crazy fucking British thing. The family was excited for the exorcism and made tea and sandwiches and invited the neighbors over as well. <laughs> so, uh, okay. So that's very English. It is incredibly English. Um, um, also, yes. Anglican church does perform exorcisms. So. Okay. I, I only looked that up because I know that like certain evangelical sects don't perform exorcisms and um like there are there are religious <sighs> exorcisms are weird and there's a lot of history behind them for different religions. Yeah. Honestly, they're probably worth an episode. Just Oh, just one, on exorcisms. Just on exorcisms. There's probably multiple and, like, episodes the in there. Different Yeah, because you could, there's probably a lot regarding like Famous well, exorcisms and how exorcism is treated differently in different religions and culturally. Because the same religion treats exorcisms differently in different regions. Well, a Shinto exorcism is totally different than a uh, Catholic exorcism, for one. Because um, Catholic exorcism is more for- focused on uh, scriptural stuff, whereas a Shinto exorcism would be more focused on uh, purification rites. So. Yep. Um uh, and that's uh, what the exorcism's about to begin, and and that's where I'm gonna leave it now. There's gonna be a part two, as a warning, because this is on Kindle. I don't really know how thick the book is, and I haven't read ahead, so <laughs> so there will be a part two. But I don't know if it's gonna be a long one or a short one, or if it's gonna be the end of this one and then just well, also a shorter one. Like we a, haven't a gotten for- into any of the the photographs yet so my assumption is we're still a pretty far away away yeah so, so you, you might have more knowledge about this um so far because you did uh we're already aware of it um in any case hopefully we'll find out why this thing is called the black monk because um i don't know how deep we're into the series of encounters but i'm leaning towards wallpaper cobra um yeah because cause there's, like, a bunch of pictures and a bunch of various things um, related to the story. Oh, okay. I'm yeah, excited, there's, then. There is a lot more. Uh, so, I don't know the whole story, like, off the top of my head, but we we have a long ways to go before we're done with the story. There's oh, a reason nice. why I didn't do the the Black Monk of Pronterfact for our 
previous episode was because uh, there was a lot, and I didn't feel like oh. doing a lot of work. So have fun. Oh, I will. <laughs> yeah. Um, right, well, it, and if anybody it, wants to read along, I added a note to self. This is Kindle location 1884 where it stops. Damn it. <laughs> it's just a note so I know where to start reading again because there's no bookmarks. Uh, geez, there are bookmarks. You can are there bookmarks? I might just be bad at using Kindle. You might just be bad at using Kindle. Um, but there are bookmarks in Kindle. Oh, okay. So time for some general pugs, I guess, because that's because I'm the yawning started, which means the episode's over. Um, our website is cryptopediacast.com. Our Instagram is at cryptopediacast. Twitter at cryptopediacast. Email us at cryptopediacast at gmail.com or us at cryptopediacast.com. Uh, we have a Patreon, and we actually got a new uh, subscriber this week. Oh, shit. Um, I don't know which of... I know there's someone from our Discord, and I'll get into that in a second. Uh, so our Jackalope subscribers are Clay Sinclair, Marty Von Party, Bird Schneider, Jonathan Shepard, and... Thomas Granger, and in, in parentheses, hung 1642 for buggery with a mare, a cow, two goats, <laughs> diver's sheep, two calves, and a turkey, um, which is an explicit reference to something that was discussed on in the, the Discord server. In the Discord. So, so uh, whenever like a new player enters the battlefield of our Discord, some cool shit happens. I feel like I feel like it's a arms race of who can be the most upsetting. Yeah, because <laughs> because I feel like that's what our Discord has evol- uh, devolved into is just being as upsetting as humanly possible. Cursed it's- Images is our most popular uh, uh, sub channel, I'd say. It's here's the thing is that um like there there's um we'll just I just saw the titty mon pictures and oh, oh uh, geez, titty mon oh uh, that's in blurst. Um, so I don't get notifications for, on my phone that much, really. So I, I try to get in whenever I can, but then I'll I never get notifications for anything outside of general for some reason. Um, yeah, I don't either. I, I got my my, so my settings are wrong. I'll, I'll, I'll pop in or, or like I'll I'll be on the phone and 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 texting and writing and stuff in there, <laughs> and Eric will be like, "Oh, who is that?" I'll be like, "Oh, it's uh, whoo, whoo, boy, Aria. Lots to explain." So and then like drops some just a little bit of weird stuff. <laughs> and she'll be like. What I'll be like here. Let's check out cursed images, and she's like, "What the fuck are you guys doing?" It's a good thing. I, yeah. I recently posted. So uh, recently, there was something called posted called Mylon the Tec- technique. Did you watch that video? No. Where? Which? Oh. Where's this? I just opened up cursed this images under, and saw this smooth cursed cri- images. Smooth criminal, but every other beat is missing. Oh, that's truly cursed. But here, oh, that's not it. This is very good. Uh, I might add this as a as a show note if I remember to. So it's an upsetting video by oh. Mylon called Technique. Yeah, what and... is it? it says uh, Lenwood. I'm fairly confident it is cursed, and you won't be able to unhear this. Enjoy. Oh yeah, it's absolutely cursed. Um, oh, what's it called? Mylon's it's, Technique official music. It's video. also upsettingly sexual and you'll understand what i mean if you watch it i'll, I'll post a link oh, in the show notes oh wait no stop what ha- what's happening Th- there's there's what why go sexy after that there's so someone's hammering a nail through a fingernail and, oh yeah and yeah and there's a bunch of ladies showing legs and oh yeah that's exactly what i mean it's a very um Wait, and now they're sexy again. Oh, a pineapple, okay. Uh, yeah, and now, now it gets worse. But uh, why you squeeze a <laughs> banana like that? <laughs> There's a it's it's uh a form of sexual sadism, I'd have to say. This is ridiculous. Yeah, it's it's a bit um much to watch. You get some very you get very conflicted emotions. Wait, she's eating a hand. She ate a human hand. Yep. Yep. Moisturize. They just said moisturize. And yes. Take... It's it's a video. It is. I mean, <laughs> Wait, it, it, no. It, no she knows ex- people with no skin. 
So you can yeah, see she muscles. knows exactly what she's doing with this video, I want to say. Like, she very clearly knows it, this is explicitly made to upset you. There's no reality in which this is anything but that. Um, we have a Facebook group. We're talking about the Discord. If you enjoyed the podcast, be sure to rate, review, subscribe. If you had any monster requests or stories, be sure to send them because I don't want to talk about this video anymore <laughs> than I already have. It's your go. Oh, sir, I was watching. I, I was just uh, in our Discord. <laughs> yeah, it's a bad place. Uh, yeah, uh, you could find me on Instagram at donkey underscore hands. Our website, or my website is boyerb.com. My email is brandon at cryptopediacast.com. And our Twitter is at cryptobrandon. On Instagram, I'm at Mew2057. Twitter is at JF Dunham. My website is johndunhamgames.com. And I'm john at cryptopediacast.com. Our art was done by Tom Hill. You could find him on Instagram at Thomas Michael Hill. His website is greatergloryco.com. And his email is tommikehill at gmail.com. As always, I'm John. I'm Brandon. And things are going to get weird.